<laughs> okay, so we are the RA Ambassadors, me and Sophia. We're part of the RA Ambassadors group. Um, and today we have got a guest star, Mr. Lambert, and we're going to be um, asking him some questions, like a little interview. Um, for all Inter about... Church Week. Yeah, for Inter Church Week. Okay, thank you. Would you call yourself a Christian? Yes. Okay, um, are you denominational? Yes, Anglican. Anglican. And what made you believe what you believe? Uh, that was a really good question. I think uh, as long as I can remember. So I went to a little village primary school. And as long as I can remember, um, you know, it was part of my life growing up. So for me, it wasn't ever a question. It was, you know, we, we gave thanks to, to God on a daily basis. We said the Lord's Prayer every day. Um, yeah. It's just something that I can remember as long as I can remember. So growing up, were your parents Christian? Not really, no. Okay. Um, I was, um, as I said, I was christened when I was um, younger, but it's they've never practised. Okay. Uh, and they've, they've never been open about their religious beliefs. So why did you choose to come to St Beats? Um, I think working in a faith school is quite important to me. Uh, and to my beliefs. I worked before St Bede's at a Catholic school in Norwich. So I was the head of physics at the Catholic school. Um, I think the ethos of St Bede's really kind of sung out to me. There were also personal reasons. So um, I moved here uh, to be with my now wife and my wife lived on Cho Hinton Road. And so um, when I was looking around for vacancies in the area, because obviously I lived in Norfolk at the time, um, a vacancy came up at St Bede's. Um, there were other vacancies at other schools, but as soon as I looked at St Bede's and looked at the website and read all about the ethos of the school, what it stands for, my mind was made up. I applied nowhere else. And how do you project your views in your day-to-day -day life? I would like to think that I'm here to serve other people. So I do all that I can to help uh, others. I put others before me as, as, as often as I can. Um, I will generally put other people's needs ahead of mine. So if I can help somebody, I'll stop what I'm doing to do that rather than carry on with, with my own tasks. I'm a New Testament guy, if I'm honest. So, yeah. uh, you know, it's, for me, I think the idea of servitude, the idea of, of helping the needy. Mm. So when did you start to read the Bible? Um, we always kind of read verses when I was younger. Um, you and your family? No, uh, at school. My, um, as I said, my, my family, my brother and I, um, I've, I've got a twin brother and my other siblings went to um, the same school. So we all, um, you know, would read... Um, Verses from the Bible, for instance. Yeah. Um, but I think I've, I've always picked it up and put it down according to what I need inspiration from. So, you know, you mention a, a particular favourite verse or something. At the moment, I would, you know, the story of Martha and Mary, I think, is important. So, you know, now more than ever, to stop, listen and kind of take stock. Um for me, I think, is, is something that speaks to me at the moment. Okay, so uh, I think we're going to go into some more um, deeper questions okay. now. Okay, so what is what are your views on euthanasia and assisted suicide? And maybe uh, we could explain what that is for people that don't know. Okay, so um, do you want me to explain what yeah. uh, assisted suicide is? Yes, thank you. Okay, so uh, assisted suicide is the idea that... Um, uh, you help someone to die if they are suffering or in pain. Now, um, I think that this is a really complex um, area. So uh, the Anglican belief is that it's not acceptable. Um, however, um, I'm also minded of the fact that there are people who are suffering greatly to a certain degree, I believe that there is an element of compassion attached to it. And I'm not entirely clear on where I stand on it. Um, so, you know, the sanctity of life is, is all important. At the same time, 
um, if if you were faced with someone you loved dearly, and they were suffering, you know, I I think there's also an element that it's compassionate to do something to alleviate that suffering. Okay, so do you believe in miracles and or spiritual gifts? Yes, especially now I've got children. Uh, I I think that my both my children are just miracles. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I come from a science background uh, and I understand how, um, you know, the mechanics. That being said, you know, I still am amazed every day at the fact that um, from evidently something so small comes something so complex and perfect as a human being. I, I, I see that as a miracle. And my, um, I suppose I count it as a blessing every day. My daughter is three and a half. And uh, there have been times when my faith has been, you know, not. So at the moment we're trying to understand where she is developmentally. So she has um, very clear difficulties. Um, it's, you know, um, quite probable those difficulties will be lifelong difficulties. And I think my wife and I have had a, a difficult period over the last three years. And uh, I think, you know, over that time, it's quite normal to kind of question things, question whether, you know, um, it's just that some, you know, something so small may, you know, be impacted by things like that. Um, but through those times, that's when, you know, when you're questioning things, you get a deeper understanding of your own faith, I think. Mm -hmm. And so I think I've come out of it feeling more blessed than ever before. Um, you know, she, she will have difficulties, but at the same time, you know, she's just perfect in our eyes. So, yeah. That's great. So, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> that, was, that was so sad. Um, <laughs> do you think science... <laughs> Speaking as a scientist, yeah. how do you think the world came to be? So, um... I, I do believe in um, uh, the Big Bang Theory and uh, I think, you know, Christianity has come to accept that, um, you know, evolution is not meant to be um, something at odds with creationism and um, the, the church has moved away from a literal kind of, um, well, the Anglican church has moved away from a literal taking of creationism and accepting that creationism is something which um, is constantly happening over time and so um, for me the two uh, are complementary when we talk about you know the big bang theory science can't explain why that happened why we have the laws of physics around us in this universe that we do why the charge of an electron is exactly equal and opposite to the charge of a proton. There's no answers to those. And yet if they weren't exactly equal and opposite, then matter wouldn't exist at all. So there are big questions that science at the moment cannot answer. And for me, I think um, if you look at the universe as a whole and, and life as a whole, um, it's hard to look past the fact that there is a design to it in my eyes. So yeah, science for me is something that enables us to explore the beauty of all that's around us and better understand it. You said you said earlier that uh, about like the Big Bang Theory, that kind of like how science and Christianity like complement each other. Mm -hmm. But do you think there's anything like any examples where they kind of like contradict with each other? Well, uh, it depends. I think um, if, if you're taking the Bible literally, then yes, you know, the, the world was not created in seven days. Um, and science tells us that. Mm. Um, and I think that I, th where I think it's difficult to say that religion and science contradict each other is because science is based on theory. And, uh, you know, you, you can experimentally verify theories, uh, and you can say to a high degree of certainty that there is a physical relationship between one variable and another, you can do that. 
I think it's wrong to characterise what's in the Bible as theories. And so therefore, I'm not entirely sure that um, you can say one contradicts the other. Uh, that's my belief in that. Okay, thank you very much for taking the time to answer these questions. Yeah, that was really, I really enjoyed that. That was quite, it was very informative. yeah, it was interesting. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Did, um, has that been useful? Yeah. Definitely yeah, useful. Definitely. We will look forward to sharing with the interchurch. Yeah. Did anything I say surprise you? I didn't know you had a twin. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You don't have Is twins. That, that's the one thing that surprised <laughs> you. <laughs>